With SwitchBot and the K10 Pro here, you have a lot of options for integrations. Now this is a Wi-Fi product, so it's gonna connect to your home's Wi-Fi. But because SwitchBot has a whole ecosystem of products, it does help to have their hub. Now I'm going to recommend the Hub 2. That's my favorite hub from them. And one of the reasons for that is because of what's called Matter. Matter is going to allow you to connect this unit to things like Apple HomeKit as they get robot vacuums into that system. Today without a hub, you can still connect this to quite a few things and you'd be able to turn on and off the Pro, plus set the different suction levels in apps like Amazon. Now in Google Home, you can send the unit back for recharging you can start and pause the unit too. You also have Siri shortcuts, which actually gives you a lot of different features. And then you have Samsung SmartThings and If This Then That, with both platforms having some of those basics too. Now, once you've used Matter though, you're gonna have local connectivity between many different platforms. So let me show you how to set this up and how it works. I'm gonna get this mini robot vacuum into Apple HomeKit. And the way to do that is to have a hub in your home. So while this is a Wi-Fi product and you would normally think that you'd head into the device's settings and then, you know, in here is where you would connect it to something like Apple HomeKit, that's actually not the case. You can see instructions, Amazon, Google, Samsung, SmartThings, If This Then That, those platforms, you can connect directly uh, using just the, the Wi-Fi on that system and the instructions inside of these. But with Matter, it's a little bit different. You actually have to have this hub in the home. This is a hub too. It's my recommendation for getting Matter working correctly in your home. Now, you go into the detailed settings for that hub and down here, it says Matter Setup. If you've already set it up in a Matter Ready application, then you're gonna have a bit of a different screen here, but I kind of blew that all away so we could start fresh. Now we're going to tap on Matter Setup and this information is going to kind of tell you, hey, this is you getting it set up with uh, Google Home, but we're not actually going to get it set up with Google Home. We need to reset this. So we have to press and hold the on and off buttons on the device panel for 15 seconds until all the lights go out. Then we have to wait for the panel lights to come back on and this little indicator light starts to slowly flash. Before I do that, I'm just gonna show you, this is the code you're going to copy in the next part of the process. So I'm going to hit these two buttons, and start holding it. Last time I did this, it didn't fully shut off. So I think the process has changed a little bit. And there it goes, I think that's what we need. So now I'm gonna hit next, and I'm just gonna keep that number up on my screen. So over here now in Apple HomeKit, we're going to use that number. So I'm gonna hit add accessory. I could do uh, more options here because we don't have a code to scan. Luckily it found my hub too. If it doesn't, you can hit my accessory isn't shown here and you can type in that code. So now it's trying to make a connection between these two and it knows it's what's called a matter bridge. So this is a really important component. If your uh, application does not support matter bridges, then this process will not work. Okay, it's asking me where I wanna place this bridge. I'm gonna hit matter. I have a room called matter, and then I'm gonna name it hub two. Now we're gonna hit done, and that will bring in a number of Matter devices. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this here. And I'm going to exit and I'm going to come back into Matter Setup. And now what I have to do is add secondary devices. So I can add the mini robot K10 Plus Pro. I have a second one that's upstairs in my home, so I can add both of those. And I can add up to eight products with this right now. So if I want my curtains and all these other things, these are all ready 
to be used. We can add things like temperature and humidity, but for now, we're just looking at what this does. So I'm gonna hit back and you can see I've added two secondary devices. So I'm in the matter room and I found this to be fairly uh, common with Apple HomeKit. So it doesn't actually say the name of the accessory that I've added. Not the best thing, you could give it some time here, but this is what I found with the integration into Apple HomeKit for these kinds of things. But if I just now go and say, it's my vacuum, and I can display it, as an outlet right now. In the future, this is gonna come in as a robot vacuum. Apple has added vacuums into HomeKit here in the latest version. So uh, you're going to be able to get the proper things in here, but for now, that's what we have. So now because I have it, I can hit that right there. And I can hear it starting the clean right now. So this situation will just get better and better. But now I can turn on and off my vacuum from Apple HomeKit.